This is video number two in the creation and completion of a fabric cover junk journal. We are going to be putting together the signatures. And a signature, as you all know, is a section or a gathering of pages folded in half to be bound into the book as a unit. And I like to enclose mine in a piece of cardstock. And for this purpose, I'm going to be decorating that piece of cardstock with a gel press. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you find my content valuable enough to hit that subscribe button. And of course, that notification bell will let you know when additional content is uploaded or when video number three, Binding the Signatures In, is uploaded. So to begin, we're picking out the pages that we want to use to create the signature, and I'm starting with some coffee stained paper. I also am going to gather some book pages, some more coffee stained uh, ledger paper and ledger paper, coffee filters, graph paper, additional cardstock, some Edith Holden uh, book pages that I think will work well, echo dyed paper I created this spring out of my garden. And these I'm setting aside in a file folder that I keep everything I'm working on for this particular project, some vellum. And uh, of course, these will all be folded in half and put together or coordinated to form two signatures. So this book is going to be composed of two signatures with a one and one half inch spine. The vellum that I'm using, I have decided to tear the edges with the tear ruler, and I am doing that in different widths. I think this will create a great little accent piece for either that echo dyed paper or the Edith Holden book page. So I am just utilizing, I have four pieces here, and I'm utilizing that uh, tear ruler to just put some interest in that. And I'll save the edges of the uh, vellum in that same file folder. Now I'm just folding things in half and getting it ready to create this signature. I really speed this up because I didn't think you needed to watch me fold those all those pages in half. The Edith Holden book page was a bit wide, so I am going to trim that down and still try to keep the integrity of that page, but I will put those edges into that file folder and we'll use them later when we create ephemera. So I am just collating those, putting them together in a manner that I find attractive. And you will need to do this with the pieces that you choose as well. We will be doing page layouts and each page layout will differ based on the type of pages that we have gathered but I think that you will find something useful in each, or I'm hoping that you will. So those look nice inside the book at this particular point. So now let's decorate up that cover. I have chosen three sheets of paper of one color times two. So I have six sheets that I think will look good with this fabric that is on the cover of our book. And now I'm just trying to coordinate the paint that I am pulling out, acrylic paint that I am pulling out to the fabric. And I have chosen, I have some greens laid out there, yellow, blue, a brown, which I find a little dull. So I'm gonna pull in this burnt sienna instead. And I'm gonna stick with the yellow and the blue because the combination of those two will give me the green. This is the texture tools that I'm gonna be using, just random house things, stencils, bubble wrap, bottle caps, etc. So let's stay, lay down the darkest color first, which is our burnt sienna. And I am choosing to do this one color at a time, rather than lay all my colors down and let them dry in between layers and grab them in one pull. I do that simply because I'm impatient and I don't wanna sit around and wait for the paint to dry. So this is the first pull with the burnt sienna on this uh, husk colored cardstock. And like I said before, I'm a little impatient, so I wanna see how the blue looks. And I am going to just put some interest in that blue with this uh, dot texture plate from Carabella and a piece of cardboard to create those lines.
And I like how the blue looks with the burnt sienna. So I think we're headed in the right direction. So now I will be good and we will do all of the pages in the burnt sienna first. And we're going to do them front and back because as you know, with the signature, we're going to enclose the pages inside there and you'll be able to see the front and back of this piece of cardstock. In doing six pages, we will get two that we really like and we'll use for the signature. The other four will be tucked inside our file folder and we shall use those for ephemera and other things as we go through the decoration of this book. Now you will see that I am also. Also notice that I am flipping these papers and doing them in different orientations on the gel press and I am trying to get paint from side to side or a good coverage of paint on this eight and a half, 11 sheet of paper. Now this is an eight by 10 gel press. So if I just lay it down flat, it's gonna leave an, a border that I do not want. So I am going to be flipping these pages around to get some coverage in all areas of the paper. And I'm getting about two passes per uh, coating of paint. And you can see, you know, it's, I'm going back and getting it on the edges, I guess, if you will. And we will coat each piece of paper front and back in the burnt sienna, then we will go back and add the blue and the yellow to both sides of paper. And of course, the end result is, as I believe I said before, to get two pieces that we are very comfortable with, like that we can utilize as our covers. And now we're ready to start with the blue and yellow. And you can see as those two merge, get this nice uh, green that is very appropriate for what the cover or the fabric cover looks like. And as you, as I'm laying these down, I'm looking at the piece, determining where that burnt sienna is laying and kind of taking that page and pushing down where I want that ink to appear. So I'm not doing just a flat pull. I am doing, uh, you know, kind of scooching the, the piece of paper around that gel press to get the corners, the edges, the center, just different areas where I would like to see that additional color appear on this page. See, that looks really cool kind of down in that corner. And then I push it up to the top side as well to kind of offset it. So just think about composition when you're, when you're laying these down and what looks good to you. We are just about through the front and back on all of these. And I know I've sped this up and I'm going kind of fast. I don't want to bore you, but I also wanted to kind of share what I was doing so you understood my mindset or my thought process as I was creating these signatures. I'm just now kind of going through each one and I've set aside the ones that I like and I am bringing back in some vintage photo ink and kind of blending in the edges. And I'm not overly happy with how just that blend of ink looks. So I'm coming back with a stencil and just putting a little activity there on the edge that I think makes it look much better. 
just kind of getting some of that vintage photo into the center of the design as well. I'm just choosing a different stencil to go up in that corner. And this is for the two that I've chosen to go on the outside edge of my signatures. So once I get them all decorated, I'm going to fold them in half and trim the corners, round off those corners. And just check out how they, how they fit, how they look on that signature that we put together earlier. Penciling up the second one. And of course, we'll round off those corners as well. So there you have two completed signatures, but I have decided since we have butterflies on the front cover that a nice little stamp butterfly would look great on these signatures as well. So I'm choosing to do those in odd numbers, three on the front and one on the back. And I thought about putting one in the center, but I think I'll stay away from that. We'll do one on the back, three in the front, one on the back. And I'm, you know, kind of uh, putting that butterfly off to the edge so it looks like they're flying on or off the page. And I think those look good together. So let's see how they look inside the book. We'll open it up and this will be our first signature. And we have the two that nestle into that book cover that we've made quite well. So the next video, we will come back and we will decorate the inside front cover and bind them together with a little bit of spine decoration. So I hope that you will join me in the full creation of this book. I've kind of set this uh, uh, parameter on myself that I want to do the entire book, decorate all the pages and video everything so that there is a complete junk journal start to finish process that is in small enough bites that you can choose what you want to watch. And once again, my name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. Please hit that subscribe button. And I really appreciate your comments, your thumbs up, likes also greatly benefit my channel and I do appreciate it. So come join me. Bye for now.